It is with joy and pride that I greet you, the good people of Ancillary and of St. Lucia, at this time of the year when we as a people not only celebrate the spirit of goodwill and share, but reflect on the closing year with fervent hope for the new one. 2019 has been a year of steady progress for St. Lucia, with the tourism sector leading the way. Already we have recorded a 7.5% increase in visitor arrivals for 2019 over 2018. We have secured additional airlift into the island, including the non-stop American Airlines flight from Chicago that began this month. A crowning moment for us was St. Lucia's 11th win as the world's leading honeymoon destination. Along with the staff of the Ministry of Tourism, Information, Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, industry workers have worked hard this past year to improve the country's fortunes. This dedication has also resulted in progress in our constituency of ancillary canneries. Once a simply drive through for visitors, Ancillary is now a destination with attractions like the Toulage Beach Park. And as the village tourism project unfolds, there will be a complete and total transformation of the village's waterfront. At this time last year, I told you, my constituents, of plans for a new health center in Ancillary. And today I'm happy to report that works have commenced and are advancing smoothly. I also promise you an improved space for human resource development, community meetings, and recreation. And after nine years of closure, the Millet Community Center at Derando is now open. The Millet Combined School was also rehabilitated. A new assembly hall was also constructed at the Roseau Combined School. A new roof installed at the Ancillary Primary School, and the Canaries Infant School was also refurbished. Works on a new early childhood center for Jackville is on the way. This year, we also welcome upgrades to the Canaries ICT Center with free Wi-Fi in the community under the GINet program. In our continued effort to improve the quality of life for all constituents, we completed upgrades to the Canaries water catchment. Residents at Techime in Millet also now have a more reliable water supply with the installation of a new water pump and storage tank. Road conditions throughout the constituency received a tremendous attention in the year and I am proud of the works done in Roseau, Otaba, Monda, Monsizo, Abacoco, Vana, Blackstone, Jackmel, Venus, among other areas. This Christmas, as we embrace each other, let us not forget those amongst us who are less fortunate, those who face adversity, those that are jobless, those who suffer from distressing health conditions or grieving the loss of loved ones. I'm also overjoyed by the outpouring of love from the community for such individuals in their time of sorrow and in their time of pain. It is that human spirit that will ensure that as a constituency, we will rise and we will thrive. It is against this background that a substantial investment was made throughout the year to provide housing and medical assistance to those in need. We also saw 50 young constituents eagerly grab opportunities to study hospitality programs with Monroe College as part of the National Apprenticeship Program. I am also proud of the youth in Ancillary, especially in the sporting arena. With the upgrading of the Jack Mill and Canaries playing fields, they are better able to hone their skills let me especially congratulate Ken Elcock, Tory Polius, Darwin Ford, who were all selected to represent St. Lucia's national under-15 cricket team. We have achieved a lot for 2019, but there is much more to be done when the new year dawns. 
I am committed to the task at hand and with your continued support, together, all in, we can realize absolute success. On this note, I wish you all, the good people of Ancillary Canneries, a Merry Christmas and a prosperous New Year.